Merry Christmas everyone! It's myself, Jonathan, also known as the PC Genie. Today we'll be talking about, well, I'll give you basically a sort of a Christmas update on what's been going on generally, and what I have planned for the year 2017. So, uh, firstly, one of the things I should mention is that I got this for Christmas from my dear mother. Uh, it is a wood-burning iron set, and obviously it's a bit similar to sort of engraving tools, but designed for wood, and the burning process is, I think it brings out the detail better than just the actual you know, engravement itself. And because it can be used on things like leather as well, something like this uh, belt frog that I use, or other items I have about, maybe even my archery bracer that I haven't used in a while, you know, they could get a bit of embellishment and decoration once I'm confident I can do it properly the first time round. Since, of course, you can't erase it once it's done. But, uh, yeah, hopefully in the future when I get better into the blacksmithing and tool or weapon making type of thing, apart from the fact that I've already got a metal engraving tool to, you know, add details and embellishments into blades and things, I can also enter things like the handles, you know, the wood scales, and again into things like sheaves, scabbards, belt frogs and other equipment, I can add detail as well, so hopefully that should look nice for you in the future, and maybe you subscribers should remind me if I seem to be forgetting about those things. But anyway, apart from that, I also got, well, honourable mention, a snow globe. I'm holding it upside down because there's a special trick to using these. First hold it upside down, let it settle, give it a little stir, look like an idiot, and then I'll give you a few minutes to, well, a while to bask in the beauty that is the snow globe. Also these ones with the syrupy glycerin type material or something are better. If you've just got water it goes whoof and settles within four seconds, whereas this... Still going. Oh and it's also got a wind up so it can... it plays your usual kind of Christmas tune I won't wind it up now because it'll it'll just be going on forever and stopping and starting and interrupting me. But yeah, that's that. And uh, apart from that, in terms of the next thing I have planned, I mean, I generally have planned to at some point review the large two-handed sword that I got from the Hanway Practical range to finish off that lot, as well as the mortuary sword and the small sword that I've got. Beyond that. I'm also going to be at some point reviewing a game that I got, and that will be uh, Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun. Now, to give you an idea of what that's about, it's a bit like, you know, in those movies, you see that scene where the protagonists are silently taking out the guards and that sort of thing, and, oh, what was that over there? Whoa! All of that. It's pretty much like that, except in a game. So you're not just watching the stuff, you're doing it which is always my preference of games to television. It's not just, oh, that's nice, they're doing that. You're doing it yourself. But, uh, yeah, I'll give a more in-depth view on the good parts, good, bad parts, inspirations, that sort of thing on the game. But uh, just as a final note before I go off to make you guys some more videos, I'd like to mention an interesting thought. When you look at these, and I was discussing with other people with regards to, you know, the kind of price that you get, about, say, 99 pence for a, a bag which contains maybe eight or so of these chocolate coins. But it means, if you're paying almost a pound, or maybe a dollar or equivalent in your money, to get about eight or so of these chocolate coins, that means they're worth more than the real deal. Fake? as in blatantly fake, chocolate money that you can eat is more valuable than actual money. Such is life, I guess. See you later.